All right, hang on. Let me get y'all positioned. Don't want to miss this shot. All right. Good late evening, you two. I'm sorry it's a bit dark out here. Uh, um, took me a while to get my stuff set up here. But anyways, so we're up here at the range today, and I've got a Pie Creek test. Um, I'm gonna. I've got two different things of paper pulp based uh, Pie Creek that I made. Um, been frozen all night. So it ought to be a pretty good uh, mixture there. Um, and I'm going to shoot it today to see if it will stop a bullet. So today I've got the uh, Daisy Powerline 1000 pellet rifle. Um, 1000 feet per second. Um, I'm shooting a you know, .177 uh, pellet, little bitty. Okay, I don't really think that's going to have much of an effect, but oh, okay. I'll shoot anyway. The uh, Ruger Mark 1 22 pistol. And just shooting a... 22 long rifle round okay uh, and the 20 gauge uh, shotgun with a slug so I know there's a pretty big difference <laughs> between there but um, you know I'm sorry I don't really have much in between there so all right let's uh, get this set up before it's too dark out here um, I guess it's about 10 yard ish maybe a little less so let's just set this guy up right here. Okay, we'll put a round in it with the uh, pellet rifle first. All right, this probably isn't even gonna do anything to it. Pellet. Okay, let's go check that out. One safe. Okay, grounded. Okay, I see where I hit it. Okay, wow. Um, it did a bit more than I thought it would, but no, uh, no penetration. So hardly. It just went into the ice a little bit. This is actually just regular ice. Whenever it hit the pie grid, it only went. And just a couple millimeters, I guess. All right, next, if I can hit it, the 22. I haven't had much practice with this thing, so I might not get such a good shot. So let's load up a couple rounds. 22 here. All right. See, you have to slam that up in there pretty good. Alright, All right, I got a pretty good hit on that. Just take that other round out. Clear. Weapons clear, on safe. Let's go check that out. Uh, okay, so. It definitely didn't go all the way through, but it put a pretty good dent in there. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it stopped a 22 round. Um, went in about maybe a uh, three-quarter inch or so. That's actually a lot further than I thought it would get. But it stopped it. But it set up a uh, fresh block here, and we'll shoot it with the 20-gauge. All right. I don't really have much hope for this uh, <laughs> here with a uh, such a big ground, a slug. Probably just gonna blow right through, I think. Place your bets now. Alright. There we go. Hopefully, I can hit this thing. Shooters out there know that it's, uh, you know, <laughs> shotgun's not very accurate at all, and 
you know, especially with just one projectile. So, you know, here we go. Slug. All right. I hope I get a good shot on this. Clear, unsafe. All right. Well, I knocked it out of the package. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that get a shot on it either. Hmm. Not surprising. Looked like it blew through there. Definitely destroyed the pot there. Um, I'm gonna take another shot because that's not very good. Okay, I want to get it center mass. I hit the edge and it looked like it blew right through the edge. Took off the chunk of the corner. Alright. Just grab me another slug here. Try not to waste these, they're not cheap. Alright, another slug from a 20 gauge. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. clear, one safe. Wow, wow, <laughs> just blew it to bits. Darn, golly, that packs a wallet. You see it, you seen it here, folks. Uh, does uh, well, actually. No, it does not stop a 20 gauge. Um, hmm, I wonder where that went to. Probably back in here somewhere. It definitely just kept on going. I mean, it sold it down a uh, yeah, pretty good bit, but, you know, <laughs> it's not going to save your life or anything. So, you seen it here, folks? Um... Paper pulp based picrete, the toughest stuff that I've learned to make so far. Will stop a 22. Will obviously stop a pellet rifle. But is no match for a 20 gauge slug or anything around there. I'd say I'd say maybe even a 9mm would blow that part. But you see how thick that is. So Oh no, you tell me what you think. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like. Okay, I put a lot of work into this. Uh, well, not really. But anyways, just give me a like. Tell me what you think in the comments. And above all, thank you very much for watching. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe.